All right, in this video, I'm gonna be going over armor. If you take a look at me, I got some armor on. Your armor consists of your helmet, your boots, your shin pads, your thigh pads, your front plate, your elbow pads, your shoulder pads, and your backpack. Yes, your backpack acts as armor. You're going to want to get armor because the armor will take some of the damage in your fight. So if you get into a fight, let's say you get hit in the shoulder, your shoulder pad will take part of the damage and then your health will take the rest. So instead of your health taking the whole hit, your armor will take some of the hit. So in order to buy armor, you go to this guy right here with the white shirt in the rest area and you can also find them in the main hall. Go up to them, tap use, tap shop, tap the armor tab. This is all your armor. This wooden armor is for level ones. So anybody can get this armor. I'm gonna tap on this boot. Okay, there's a few things you want to look at when considering buying armor. First thing is the level. See this, to wear this boot, you need to be a level two or higher. If you're a level one and you try to buy this boot, you won't be able to. So if you ever have a problem where you're trying to buy some armor and you can't, check your level. Your level might be too low for that piece of armor. The second thing you want to look at is condition. See right here it says condition 65. The higher the condition of the armor, the better. You can upgrade any armor and any weapon and eventually upgrade its can go over that. But for right now let's stick to the basics. Right here you see it says defense 4.0%. What that means is if you were to get hit in the foot, this piece of armor will take 4% of the hit and the rest of the 96% of the hit will be given to your health. It will be taken away from your health actually. Now right here in parentheses you see 7.0% max. You can upgrade this piece of armor so that it will protect you 7%. So if you get hit in the foot your, this piece of armor will take 7% of the hit and then your body, your health will take the 93% that's left over. That's the maximum that you can upgrade this, help, this um, piece of armor here. The further you go, the better the armor is. Let's check out this boot. This boot you gotta be level 6 to wear. Out of the gate, it'll protect you 5% if you get hit. The maximum is 8.5. So that's what you, what you want to look at when it comes to armor. Now let's go all the way down. Let's go all the way down here. See the difference. Okay. This boot right here. This boot, you got to be level 21 to wear it. It's 100 in condition. Out of the gate, it'll protect you 10%, your foot. 10%, so it means... This boot will take 10% of the hit, and your health will take the other 90. That's the highest that I know of, of a boot. And again, you can upgrade it to 15% max with upgrade kits, which I'll go over in another video. Sometimes you got to mismatch armor in order to get the most protection. Like this boot right here, you got to be level 21 to wear the boot. Same thing with the elbow pad. Now the front plate you have to be at 24, level 24. The helmet you have to be level 25. See it's staggered. So that's why you see some people with mismatched armor. <laughs> because they're wearing the best armor that they can with the level that they have. One thing I want to point out is right here in this others tab. Me, I never, the only helmet I ever got 
that went with the actual armor I had on was this red one. This red helmet here. But take a look at it. It's 90 in condition and it goes up to 14 max. 14% max at level 5. But if you check out this helmet, it's also a level 5. It has 500 condition. It'll start you out at 12% and then the max is 22. And the same thing goes for the rest of these helmets. All these helmets here are better than the ones that go with the armor. So I suggest you don't get the helmets that go with the armor. Just get these. See this one right here you can get at level 5, max out to 22. This one right here you can get at level 12 and you can max it out to 50. I'm still wearing this helmet. I'm a level 24 and I'm still wearing this helmet. This helmet right here, you can max out at 55. You need to be level 20. I decided not to get this helmet because with the football helmet, I get 50. Start at 30, get 50. With this one, you start at 35 and you end up getting 55. But what happens is you have to keep using upgrade kits to upgrade the helmet to get to 55. So instead, I, I rather use the tags to level up my my level, level up my health, level up my energy, and not waste them on the helmet for a little five percent protection. Now, if it was a bigger number, I get it, but I decided not to get that. Stick with this football helmet until I can get this helmet. This is the best helmet that I know of, at least on this side of the elite zone. In the elite zone, they might have better ones. This one has 5,000 condition. This can take a lot of abuse. It starts at 70%. It'll protect your head 70%. That means your health only takes a 30% hit if you get hit in the head, which is awesome. And you can max it out at 85, which is ridiculous. That's pretty cool. And you have to be level 30 to get this helmet and to wear it. And also this front plate. I gotta level up and get this one. Right now I have the ones that match my armor. You got to be 27 to wear this one, this plate. It'll protect you at 50% in the beginning and you can max it out at 65%, which is awesome. It's a lot better than the plate I have now. So yeah, that's it. Right here you got these helmets. Get everything here in the others tab as soon as you can and use that. Instead of using the helmet or the plate that goes with your armor because you might look a little funny but you're gonna be a lot better protected that's it for now put your comments in the comment box any suggestions in the comment box anything to add put it in the comment box there's more videos coming out subscribe if this will help your friends this will help your clan share it out